what you're doing after school today? I'm volunteering at the food bank. Why? Can't they just do online food banking? I even have the mobile food banking app. Anyway, we should do something. You and me? What would we do? Doesn't matter, as long as you and I get to spend time together. Hey, Ivy, we should do something after school. I have plans, but I can cancel. I'm right here. We can see that, Echo, but it's rude to interrupt. Ivy? The only plan I have with you is get a helicopter, fly it over your head, and drop a bag of snakes on you. Looks like we're back on, Echo. Besides, it's college application time, and I'm off to take a tour of the great Northern University campus. Really? What are you looking forward to checking out? My tour guide. <laughs> I've been paired up with a recent graduate. I bet he's a tall, handsome quarterback. Although, he'd probably be taller and more handsome if he had an entire back. <laughs> I'm meeting him on the front steps. Do you know where those are? <laughs> Where's the promising young academic ready to visit my alma mater? Adam, get out of here! I don't want you cramping my style when my tall, handsome, slightly lopsided college boy shows up to give me my tour. I have no interest in your slightly lopsided college boy. I'm waiting for my bright, young academic. You're my campus tour guide. Well, who better to show you all the super cool stuff? Like the cryogenic chamber used to freeze infected tissue samples. It literally cannot get any cooler than that. It literally cannot get any dorkier than you. <sighs> this is such a trip down memory lane. This quad was the site of one of the wildest, most out of control parties of the year. It ended up being shut down by the police. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it took the cops half an hour to come after I called them. <laughs> but before that, it was so wild, I couldn't study. <laughs> Ta-da! Adam Young? How wonderful to see you. <laughs> one moment, I'm just in the middle of something. Now I'm at the end of it. <laughs> Ugh, what is this? Vermicast of the Lumbracina. English, please. Worm poop. That's it. I'm not going to college. Thanks for opening my eyes. It actually might have been better if you kept them closed. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ivy, hold on. You have to go to college. For every student I recruit, I get a free smoothie. I don't fit in here. Adam didn't fit in here either. Let me tell you about his first day here. It was almost his last. I thought you were going to tell us the story. Oh, OK. OK, Adam, you've got a peanut butter and banana sandwich, string cheese, and a box of healthy body, healthy brain juice. Thanks, Mommy. Wait, how do you know the part of the story that happened before I got to school? I am a scientist. It's my job to extrapolate additional data from the established facts. I can't believe my little boy is gonna be a university student. There's no chapter on this in the parenting manual. <laughs> or is there? I keep meaning to read this. Mom, I know you're nervous, but it'll be fine. I may be young, but I'm more than capable of handling the workload. I know, sweetie. It's just gonna be so lonely around here without you. 
Mom, I transferred my retainer. Oh, wait, it's in my mouth. So lonely. <laughs> Look at this place. It really brings me back to the time I spent on this campus. I guess that was a long time ago. Right, because I have not been back here recently for any traffic light parties. I am Professor Fenway, and this is the introduction to Introduction to Earth Sciences. Welcome to Introduction to Earth Sciences. If you need anything, just call me. Everybody grab a lab coat and take a seat. <laughs> what are these hooks designed for? I don't see any giants in this class. Here's your lab coat, puny child. <laughs> What are you talking about? There were no giants in your classroom. Fine. Sorry for trying to make your life story more interesting. <laughs> anyway, you somehow managed to get a lab coat on. We are going to start with the chemical composition of the Earth's atmosphere. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon. Finally, peers at my level. Well, my mental level. <laughs> The system is much more complex than that. Our flora and fauna require the balance of those and trace gases in our atmosphere, such as methane. Ooh, this is good stuff. Where's my notebook? What? Did you call me, honey? I thought I heard you say, Ma! No, Mom, I'm fine. Please wait anxiously for me at home. Did you skin your knee? Let Mommy look at it. No, Mom, it's off. Are those rainbow bunny underpants? Oh, you don't understand. These aren't mine. They're hand-me-downs from my sister. <laughs> I totally misjudged this place. College is hilarious. Where were we in the story? Oh, yes. Adam was showing us his rainbow bunny buns. <laughs> they weren't mine. Uh, fine. Adam was showing us his sister's rainbow bunny buns. <laughs> Thank you. Which he liked wearing even more than she did. Don't sneak that in under the flashback music. Adam, where are you going? I don't belong here. I'm quitting. You can't quit. Quitting is for jobs. With school, you drop out. Then I'm dropping out. You can't drop out. What are you going to do? Go to fourth grade? I guess. Do you have any idea who's in fourth grade? Losers. A bunch of loser kids who can't even get into college. Well, I'm the same age as them, so I should fit in fine. Well, I'm going anyway. OK. Let's go right now. I'll show you what fourth grade's really like. Don't you have to go back to your class? It'll be fine. Students learn best from independent study. At least that's what it says in the teacher's manual. You haven't even read it. I wanted to, but I couldn't open my copy of How to Remove Shrink Wrap. <laughs> Excuse me? This is Adam. He thinks he belongs here. With you losers! <laughs> By the way, this is an L. It's part of the alphabet. Hey, Adam. <laughs> Welcome to your new, safe, fun learning environment. <laughs> Grab a seat. We're just about to do circle time. Adam Young? Long time no see, man. Derby, I saw you yesterday. We went school supply shopping together. I think you became a university student. Again, we talked about that yesterday. <laughs> but I guess that didn't pan out, huh? Because here you are, in fourth grade, just like me. You're even in my class. 
Whatever. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'll introduce you around. That's Stern Slabinski. <laughs> Slabinski's hard to say, so for short, we call him Jordy. You're a kid. Just like everyone else in here. Not sure why I felt the need to point that out, but there you go. He's big, but don't worry. He never uses his size against anyone. I know I'm late, but I was on the bus when a flock of bats swooped down and... Go on. What happened when they swooped down? Shoot. Next time, I'll make sure I have an ending for that story. Oh, and I'm introduced you to her. That Don't bother. Girls are gross. That was Echo? I had a chance to meet her years ago and I blew it? What a horrible mistake. What mistake? Girls are gross. We are not. You still got a little worm poop right here? <laughs> All right, class. Today, we're going to talk about science. Aw, <laughs> uh, Derby's getting a jump start on nap time. So, what kind of science are we going to learn? Particle physics, astrophysics, theoretical physics, quantum physics? Or is it one of the 47 types of chemistry? Nope. Beans. Beans? That's the topic? It sure is, for the next eight weeks. <laughs> and you can't learn science without the right equipment. This is crazy. I know, crazy fun. I think Mr. Tater is someone I'm really going to like and respect. <laughs> Beans, beans, they grow in the ground. Their leaves come out without a sound. Beans, beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... Wait for it. Love beans. <laughs> okay, kids, get into groups. We're doing a group project. You, me, Derby. And should we ask... That girl? Not unless we're doing a science experiment on cooties, which don't really exist. But if they did, they'd be on girls. Please just tell a different story. Oh, how about the one where we saw Adam's rainbow bunny underpants? Oh, they were yours. You still wear them. You're probably wearing them right now. So, group project, go on. All right. Time to grow ourselves some bean plants. Everyone take a bean, wrap it in a wet paper towel, then place it snugly in a cup. Now what? Now we wait and 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 then we wait another two weeks. <laughs> This is so boring. You know, there's some evidence that ultrasonic waves can accelerate a plant's growth. I can alter the tones in this toy if I take it apart. But I haven't learned what sound a moo cow makes. <laughs> Live and learn. Now we'll need something to amplify the sound. Wow, Adam, this is fantastic. It's especially fantastic that it grew just the right amount and didn't keep growing and do damage to the school. What would happen if we turn this thing up to 11? It only goes to 10. But if it goes to 11, it's one louder. Watch. Oh, you're right. It does only go to 10. Uh-oh. 
Where's Mr. Tater? Yeah, where is Mr. Tater? <laughs> Never made that sound before. Mr. Tater, are you okay? I'm actually a little bit scared of heights. Okay, not a little bit, more like a lot. I'm hoping singing will calm me down. Nope, it doesn't seem to be working. Help me! We have to do something before. Three, five, four, thumb. We've been over this. There were no giants. What story has a beanstalk and no giant? OK. There's still a giant. You know I can hear you over the music cue. What are you talking about? So Pink Underpants was battling the giant. That's not what was happening. Fine. Adam was trying to solve the problem. I just need to read this book in advance, Botany. <laughs> Anybody have any ideas? We get a helicopter, fly it over the top of the beanstalk, and we drop a bag of snakes on it. <laughs> any ideas? Any ideas at all? Why didn't you like that snake idea? I know people who swear by it. <laughs> Ooh, you know who's good at solving problems? I don't know how to make this any clearer. I have absolutely no interest in talking to that girl. Do you understand? I don't care about her now, and I never will. <laughs> Let's think. What do we know about beans? Well, they're good for your heart. And the more you eat, the more you love beans. <laughs> That's not the only thing you do more of. Just this morning, my earth science professor was talking about the delicate balance of chemicals in the atmosphere. If we increase the amount of methane in the air, perhaps a beanstalk will be unable to thrive. <laughs> we need to fart. You know who's really good at farting? I don't want to meet that girl. <laughs> meant me. I'm really good at farting. Girls don't fart. Still gross. I agree. Here, eat these. Now let the beans do their magic. To be clear, it's not magic, it's science. <laughs> and so they farted, and farted, and farted, and farted some more. And when no one could fart any longer, Jordy dug down deep and mustered one final fart. <laughs> At least I can still smell. Oh. You kids really are disgusting, aren't you? Yes. You filthy, disgusting, annoying brats. I quit. I'm going to look for a new job, one where I don't have to care about young people. I'm thinking high school principal. <laughs> Did you see? broken face when he smelled those farts. That was such a great prank, Adam. I'm going to devote the rest of my life trying to come up with a prank as hilarious as this one. I just realized how much I enjoy when other people are in pain. Hey, Derby, you're other people. Uh-oh. Hey, just checking in. Ah, the sweet smell of science. Professor, you were right. I was born and ended up causing a bunch of trouble. I see. Luckily, though, I was able to solve the problem using something you mentioned earlier today. That kids are losers? <laughs> earlier than that, the methane thing. You were listening. Hmm. Well, clearly you should come back to my class. But I didn't fit in at the university. So? You don't fit in here either. 
At least there, you'll be learning something. But whatever. It's your choice. Stay here and fart away your talent if you want. I always remember that speech being more inspirational. Well, you know what? I'm still not going to college. Your story didn't work. That worked. <laughs> college, we're back on. And I think you'll grow to love it just as Adam did. Yes, he may have been small, but really, aren't we all small compared to the giant? For the last time, there is no... What do you want from me? I live on a beanstalk. <laughs> When you said you wanted to do something after school, I thought you meant hang out at the mall. Come on, we've got to get out of here Fee, before. Fee, fi, fo, Furby. I smell the blood of Echo and that other kid. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, I have a plan. Hold these. This girl stole your eggs. 